Okay, today we're going to talk about the FOD Sports FX8 intercom, Bluetooth intercom. I was looking for, for a couple of cheap intercoms uh, to do some touring with my girlfriend here in uh, Colombia uh, so we can keep in contact with each other. I didn't want to go the way of Senna or Cardio because they're way too expensive for what we needed. So I found uh, these FOD Sports intercoms online. They have a few different models, but I went for the FX8 model. Um, I ordered it on Amazon. It cost, they cost around $170 for the pair. So it's compared to Senna or Cardio, some of the bigger or the better known brands, this is a pretty good price. Actually, you can buy two of these for the price of one half decent Senna unit. I've also got a Senna 30K, so I've got a decent benchmark to compare these two. So what comes in the box? Well, it's pretty straightforward. That's the box, that's what it looks like. Pretty well packaged by looks of things. Let's have a look, see what we got. Get rid of that, I don't need that anymore. So let's open it up. Get rid of that. Okay. Looks like we've got some pretty stickers from FOD Sports. Nice touch. Okay, what else have we got? Okay, these are our two Bluetooth units. They look very similar to my Center 30Ks with the uh, pop up antenna like that nice thumb wheel indexes nicely pretty good it's got like a a, a rubberized feel on the uh, on the unit very nice buttons are pretty nice and tactile center buttons nice and tactile looks pretty well made I must admit, charging port. Okay, so that's the unit. So there's two of these come in the box. Okay, what else have we got? Put them aside. Okay, in the box we have, let's lift this up. Okay, don't need that. Instruction manual, operation manual in English and Chinese by the looks of it. Quick start guide. Looks pretty straightforward looking at this. One thing is this unit doesn't come with an app on your phone so you do everything from uh, from button presses. Okay, straightforward. It's in the bottom of the box. Ah, okay. So we've got one set of earpieces and a helmet mount. That's two. We'll put them on the side as we get them. This is a soft microphone. Should come with two microphones. That's a soft mic. Okay. This is a Hard microphone, charging cable, the other soft mic, and the other hard mic. Put them aside. A bunch of sticky things and inserts and clips. We'll find out what they're for when we get into installing the unit. What else? We have a uh, connection lead. This is if you want to connect an external uh, device like a walkie-talkie or a, an iPod or something like that that doesn't have a Bluetooth connection. Okay, so that's about everything in the box. All these are just duplicates of what we got. Let's have a look. So this is a soft mic. Uh, this is the cable. Yeah, looks pretty good quality. 
clip on it. These are all the got some pads for the speakers. Uh, the pad that goes on the side, I think, for the unit, if you want to mount the unit with the sticky pad on the side of your helmet. These are 3M pads, the helmet pads, not sure if they're 3M or not, we're going to find out later on. Charging cable, all pretty basic. It's a the small type um, USB, the micro USB type. Hard mic with the, this is flexi if you've got a, uh, a half helmet. But I have been told that this is uh, you should this works better than the soft mic, but we will try out. Looks pretty good. This is the soft mic. Velcro pads, soft mic. This is the mount. Let's have a look at this. Okay. So this is already wired in the speakers. Not sure how this works yet, but we will find out as we get into it. This is an ex the external connection. Looks pretty decent. Nice bung in there to keep it waterproof when you're not using it. All looks pretty decent quality. Obviously plastic, but looks pretty decent. Speakers are 40 mil. We're going to find out how they work. It's got Velcro pads already installed. Okay, the units. As I said, they're pretty good quality. The main reason I went for these was uh, they got pretty good reviews on YouTube and on Amazon, uh, which is always nice. Um, easy to plug in a two-way radio, which I've done before on my center unit. Uh, Bluetooth two-way radio giving much more range which was also nice this plugs straight in 900 milliamp battery so it should last a long time I guess we're going to find that out when we test it on paper it should last all day you can plug in earbuds into the external socket which is this little device which is also very nice um, Another reason why I got this unit, it's claimed 2,000 meter range, we're C, testing that's about 1.2 miles, if I get 50% of that I'll be happy. And that's about it, uh, and that's what you get in the box. So what we do is, uh, we will now go on to uh, installing one in one of the helmets, uh, Bell MX-9, and see how we get on. Okay, we're going to start and install this into a Bell MX-9, the FX-8 intercom. Okay, these are all the parts we're going to use. These are alcohol pad. Just going to use this to clean the, uh, the parts of the helmet where we're going to put sticky pads in. And go there. We're going to use the hard mic. There's a soft and hard mic. People have told me the hard, hard mic is better. So we're going to go with that. This is our mount, it's pretty straightforward, there we go, that's our mount, that's our intercom, okay, these are a bunch of stuff that comes with it, put that back there, so we're going to just use these pads um, for our velcro, if we need to bring the speakers closer to the ears, we can use these sticky pads as well, double-sided sticky pads. Get them out of the way for now. <coughs> we're not going to use the clip because we're going to go. We're going to use the sticky pads. We're going to need the double-sided sticky pad. We're going to use this to mount the mic inside because that comes with a, a Velcro pad that you can see there. That's about it. This is the mount. I we'll just unscrew that. There we go. Come out of the way. We 
don't need this right now. I'll put that aside. Okay, so we'll just take out alcohol pad. Give this a bit of a clean. So it is nice. We're going to give that a bit of a wipe and a clean, let it dry off. Not sure what that little thing's for. Oh, I think that clips when you put a. Uh, you see there? There we go. Let's move that closer to the camera. And there's like a little uh, little clip, a black clip. I think that's for the uh, when you run the cable underneath. We we'll see when we get to that. Let's get the helmet. Move all this stuff aside. That for now. This is the helmet we're going to be putting it in. This is a Bell MX9. So we're going to mount it on this side. So I'm thinking, oh, let's see. As I put my grubby fingers back over the uh, back on the plate, we'll clean it up again. I'm thinking somewhere around, let's get the camera on that, somewhere around there, uh, should be, maybe back a bit, so we've got a bit more surface area, and, yeah, I'm thinking about there, so we go there, yep, yeah, I think that'll do it, just clean this up, give it a wipe with our pad, so it is nice and uh, easily hopefully the video might turn up upside down or the wrong way around but uh, hopefully uh, that's not a big problem let's put that there let's get a cloth just help that alcohol along a little bit there we go Now as well, it's taking longer to dry than I thought. That's all right. Okay, we're going to use a double-sided one, which is there, which you can see just there. There it is, double-sided, 3M, nice and sticky. Let's put that aside for now. So, as you can see, it can only go one way because of the orientation. You can see that edge there. Uh, where the block is. So we're just going to stick this on for now. Always fun getting these off when you don't have nails. Especially when they tear. There we go, get rid of that. So, parts nice and clean with alcohol. That just grips on like that. There we go. Hopefully you can see that. Straightforward. Some tangle our speakers here. As you can see from the speakers there, they've got Velcro already on. Hopefully you can see that. I might just lift these lights up a little bit. Let's see if that helps. There we go, that might help a little bit. I'm no Steven Spielberg, that's for sure. So what I'm going to do now, actually I should have done this before, I'm just going to pop out the linings, etc. from this helmet. Like many helmets, they're just the pops. You just pop these off, one, two, three. I must probably have to clean my spot again. Let's see if we can keep our fingers off of it. Just put them to the side. Pretty straightforward, Mo removing linings from helmets. Most are like this. I've had um, showy helmets. They're like this. Some are tight. This one's a bit, little bit tight, but they do come off. This one is fighting me a little bit. Wow, that was tight. Okay, we'll take the liner out as well. They pop off. You'll be able to see with this. This is the MIPS bell helmet. So that's why you've got that yellow 
you can see it in there hopefully where well, you see it let me take this off so you'll be able to see it let's take that out it's a liner this is a bell you'll be able to see because it's got nips on the bell it has that uh, insert that actually moves so on impact your head has some rotational movement so this is the side we're going to mount I didn't touch it so it should still be good to go there we go so basically what we're going to do I think we might as well do that now you can see these many helmets have them they have hopefully the light you can see that let's lift this light up see them speaker inserts there we go look at that that's a speaker insert that you can see there it's just uh, a round indentation many many helmets have these now for obvious reasons because people like intercoms so we're just going to mount these pads these are velcro as I said if you find the speakers are not loud enough and you do have the opportunity to move them closer to the ear you do have these uh, additional sort of bulkier pads in the uh, in the kit to lift them out so we're just going to stick them in there see it's pretty get the camera right the angles are a bit funny but anyway you'll be able to basically see it's basically in there like that let's lift that light up so there's the uh, foam pad in there that's it just sticks on in like that. We do the other side as well. Just adjust this light a bit. Doesn't go everywhere. Here we go. Let's put that there. Okay. Let's get the other side. As I say, they're double sided. They're not 3M, but they appear pretty sticky, so. Once again, my nails are not the best nails in the world to be doing this. Okay, come on, baby. There we go. So done one side. I guess I really should have cleaned these, but I guess nobody's been in there, so it should be all right. That's the other one. clear that and then give it another wipe there we go be doubly short just wipe that down a bit there we go should be nice and clean should stick I'm just gonna pop this on now basically so you know this little clip there that goes to the back and that clip plugs in and out pushes in and out and that's gonna do the ejection so what I might do is slide this on so I've got a bit more pressure now this you'll see let's see if we can get it on the camera it's got like a, a, a slot and this part actually slots into it not sure if you can see that well and that slots in that's slotted in both sides you just press it down and it clicks in place to eject it press that button and just slides up and this should all be waterproof because you do have like a rubber gasket there that just just here we go and that's in that's that's locked in so what I'm going to do now is roughly offer it up where I think it might be there we go just a little bit off of that vent at the back somewhere around there that should be easily manageable on the helmet <laughs> pull the sticker off 3M sticker once again it's ripped go so it, oh, as I get pieces of paper all over me so we're just going to come up from that vent I want to be on the vent we're just going to place it around there. Yeah, I think that'd be pretty good. Shouldn't interfere with anything on the helmet. Easy to get to the buttons. There we go. Give that a press. It's nice and, nice and firm. 
don't think that's going anywhere. A bit of a wiggle wiggle. There we go. That's on. It's not going anywhere. Now I'm going to use a hard mic. So what I'm going to do in this case for this helmet, as you see, maybe you can see there. But let's move that in a bit, out a bit. I'm going to basically pop that in so it's sort of like that. So I'm going to put a Velcro pad along here. Give that a bit of a clean. It sticks nice with an alcohol pad. I'm sort of doing this backwards because of the camera angle, so hopefully it comes out. This is the Velcro pad that you can see there. Once again, sticky back. Rip that off. You can use the soft mic that comes in the kit, but people have told me that the hard mic is better. So, we'll see. And in this helmet, it appears to be no problem to fit the, uh, the hard mic on. Okay, so what we're going to do now, we're going to move this in so you can see what I'm doing. We're just going to untwist that. We're going to run them wires down here eventually. Just move that up a bit. So all I'm going to do for now is just try and get this in the middle of the pad. Just put the wire to the back. You might not be able to see that, but I'll show you once I've done it. Get it centrally located. The good thing about Velcro, you can always move these if, it, if it's not perfect. There's one in. Move to the other side. Get that in the middle. Just run the wire to the back. It's very straightforward. I mean, it's not rocket science. Any, anyone should be able to install these. So there we go. They're not going anywhere. I get the mic in, and eventually these cables are just. I'm just going to leave them underneath the, the the liner. You can see the cables are on there, but we're out the cables, so they're out of the way and not a problem. Move it up a bit. Just move this in. I don't like forcing these cables down. I'm not going to do it. Let me see. Let's see if that slot opens. I'm just going to use this just to see. If that does open, there is a slot there. Okay, so I'm going to run the cable down there. I can. See so if I can open it and then pop the cable in. I doubt it, but I might get lucky. Yep, that went in. There we go. So that just keeps it tucked out the way when you put the liner back on. As I say, you can route these how you want. I'm sure I'll be playing with them. Okay, so there's our mic. We're just going to have our mic in there. There's sort of an indentation where there's a vent in this helmet. Let's see if you can orientate it so you can see it. Not so easy to see. It's down in there. Oh. So we're going to run the mic in there like that. And it'll be out of the way. Just going to run the Velcro like that. <laughs> So that's all I've done for this helmet. I'm going to bring the light up so you can see. Hopefully, there's a microphone there, and it just runs round, and there's a Velcro pad. So the microphone sits in that indentation out of the way. Shouldn't be a problem. As I say, if you don't have the room, I'm sure the, uh, the soft mic uh, I'll do the job for you. Okay, sorry about moving the helmet in and out, but I'm moving lights and stuff like that. So this is pretty straightforward. This plugs straight into the back there. Let's get it out of the way. There we go. It's a nice snug fit. It looks pretty water watertight. So that just goes in there and that's in. So we can run that round. Let's just pull that down a bit. Like that. Put the liner in. I'm going to run this round as well. wish that gap was a bit bigger to push the cables in, but that's okay. We've also got this cable clip, so we can clip these up like that. Clip them together. 
Maybe we can get them down into the helmet a bit more. I think they'd be alright. We'll see how we go. Once the line is on, they'll be out of the way. Okay, so that's basically in. Everything's in on the helmet. So I'm going to tempt fate and uh, not test the helmet, uh, not test the uh, controller. I'm just going to pop this back in. This is always fun knowing which way around these pads go. In this case, it's just going to loop through. No, loop through like that. Let's, let's work this out before I put them back on. Where's the other one? That's like that's like that. So this is just going to pull through there, like so. Straight forward, out of the way. See where our cables land. Our light. There we go. So I'm going to play with these a bit more. The cables once it's on. Give that a bit of a push. This is my girlfriend's helmet, so I can't really try it. This one at the back, straight forward. There it is. There we go. And that sort of, you can see the, the mount there, but that, that shouldn't affect anything. I've got one in on the inside here, another one. Let's get some light on that. I'm sure it's all flipping around on the video, but that's okay. Just there it is. As I say, some of these can be a bit tight, these pop studs, but that's a good thing. There we go. So that's one side in. Let's do the other side. Actually, quite a nice design what they've done with this, uh, with this bell helmet. The way the the speakers are, or the speaking closures, should I say? Okay, once again, moving around. Okay, one popped in. Two popped in, and we've got one more up in here. Pop in. There we go. So the, that's all pretty well hidden. You can most probably, what I do, I lift the, the light up. I'll fix them in a minute. So you can see in this helmet, it's like a, a padded, the pads are sort of got the cutout in. So you can see where the, let's see if we can do that. It's very hard to get the camera in to see it, but there's a recess in the padding for the speakers, as I say, these are made to accept the intercoms. So we've got some loose cables there, but uh, the liner will cover them up. It shouldn't be a problem. Okay, that goes to the back. Just pop this in. That chin strap out of the way. I'm not sure there's any particular right or wrong order to actually do this. So as you can say, I think that's taken about five, ten minutes, and that's a, just a clean install. So, pop that cable out of the way. Yeah. I mean, on your own helmet, it could well differ depending on what the line is like, etc. Cable, cable routing. But on this helmet, it's been very straightforward. It goes like that, and that goes down. The cable's all tucked out of the way. Let's have a look in here. Another one there. It's all popped in. One more, I think. Yeah, this one here. This one was tight, as I remember. Taken off. There we go. So the line is in. Let's get the label out of the way. Let's look wherever that goes. Let's see how the label goes. It's out of the way. So the line is in. No problem. All nice and uh, all nice and snug. The only cables you see from the outside are these two. Like that, we can uh, gonna work a little bit more on them, and uh, but I don't think they're gonna need. I mean, they're pretty unobtrusive. There, they're out of the way, and that's it. That is basically it in a nutshell. That 
FX8 is installed in their helmet. And there's the, uh, the microphone tucked down there in the front, out of the way. So one thing I did notice was, once we clip that back in after... Is, if we look at this plug at the back, it's not the standard, that little plug there, for the auxiliary or earbuds or plugging in. I've got some standard earbuds here. They are, I think that's a 3.5 mil jack. This is a 3.5, not sure. Sometimes it goes into focus. I think that's a 3.5 mil jack. The ones used, this is a 2.5, the smaller one. So there, so I think the only way you could use earbuds on this is basically cut that one off and uh, get a uh, get the smaller jack and making sure that this, I'm going to show you now, it plugs in because it gives it a, uh, a watertight fit. So as you can maybe see on the video, when you plug that in, that goes in quite a little bit. So you have to make sure you get the right plug. Or, I guess if you're really uh, a dab hand, and you can see that it's got uh, the bung on there, it's, uh, it's waterproof, it just goes back in. Like that. If you're a real dab hand, I guess you can uh, maybe cut this and splice it. I don't know. Or, if you want, get yourself an adapter. Uh, just a straight adapter, like that, uh, you, you can get them, but I don't know if that's the best solution. Anyway, that will be down to individual preference. So that's it. Uh, as I said, this little button here, you just clip, pop that, that one there. I know it looks a bit back to front on the video, but you pop that, and once you pop that, you can slide this off. So the good thing is, if you've got multiple helmets, you can buy this as a kit. The speakers and everything is a kit. So you can just have this on the helmet and just move this around uh, different helmets, uh, which is a great idea. So that's that. Um, this slides on pretty easy once you get the knack of it. There we go. That's it. It's on. Let's power it on, these two buttons, for a few seconds. Make sure it works. There we go, that's on. As I say, we're, I'll play with that a bit more, but you can do that on your own helmets as well. If you want to pair with a phone, it's just this until it flashes red. And you'll see that. And it goes into pairing mode, just like that. I'm going to make some more videos on the individual functionality, but that uh, will get you up and running pretty quick to test. Actually, we might do that right now. Let me grab a phone. So it's flashing and ready to pair. My phone, I use the uh, drive dashboard. That's why my phone screen looks like this. Let's just find the phone settings, app settings on this Android phone. I'm more of an iOS lover, so excuse me if I'm no expert on this. I just want to pair it and uh, see if we can get some uh, sound out of it. That's pairing. Uh, recently used devices. There we go. It comes up as, uh, hopefully you can see that, uh, on the screen. Let's go down there. Fod Sports, Fod, Fod Sports FX8. So just pair with that. It's pairing. Pair. There we go. It goes blue. Pairing. So let's see if we can find some music on this phone. And... Uh, Let's have a look on this phone, music, just play anything, just to uh, confirm there's some sound.
Yep, I can certainly hear music coming out of the headphones. You can see when I do the front wheel, the volume uh, going up and down there. Let's just bring that down out of the light a bit. Let's get rid of that light. Let's make it a bit, a bit like that. There we go. So as I just, you can see it going up and down. There you go. Very easy to use the volume. Wish I could move this along a bit. There we go. Bohemian Rhapsody. Maybe you can hear that. There we go. Both sides are working. Job done. So that's it. It's as easy as that. I guess that took me 10 minutes total uh, and it's working a treat.